Good morning to everyone here in Barbados, across the Caribbean and the wider world. Welcome to the Anglican Lenten Devotions. During this penitential Christian season, we will address six themes. These are as follows. Faith, penitence, love, forgiveness, fasting, and finally the topic, the Barabbas Syndrome. During this fourth week, March 27th to April 2nd, we will focus on forgiveness. As we undergo serious introspection during Lent, humbly acknowledging our mistakes, we realize the necessity of Jesus' Lenten journey in securing our forgiveness from God. The Lenten season should be one of introspection and self-examination. We need to ask the questions, Where in my life am I failing to be all that I can be as a disciple of Christ? Why am I allowing seas of bitterness and resentment to take up room in my heart? Why, after all these years, I am still holding a grudge against someone whom I loved and trusted? I am positive we all have unfair things happen to us. We can choose to cling to that hurt and let it destroy our day-to-day happiness, or we can embrace forgiveness, which can lead us down the path of physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. As a child growing up, I used to hear adults say, I will never forgive him or her as long as I live. These words were still being echoed by many people and sad to say, even by persons who are practicing Christianity. If we consider ourselves to be children of God, wouldn't we want to be forgiven? Paul wrote, Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ has also forgiven you. Forgiveness is the most positive and productive action a person can take to erase the pain of past hurt. If we follow Jesus' teaching, we would realize that he was always advocating for forgiveness. In Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 and 22, Jesus was pointing out to Peter that there is no time span when it comes to forgiveness. If anyone ever had reason to be unforgiving, it was Jesus at the time of his crucifixion. He was innocent of all the charges that were brought against him. He was spat upon, beaten, and had a crown of thorns thrust on his head. Then he was forced to carry a heavy wooden cross through the marketplace in disgrace. No one ever had greater cause to be angry. Yet, what did Jesus say when they nailed him to that cross? Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. In the moment of deepest sorrow, Christ utters a prayer, not for revenge, but one of compassion and redemption. In the midst of such suffering, he knew that he had a loving father. In a moment of deepest sorrow, Jesus utters a prayer, not for revenge, but one of compassion and redemption. In the midst of such suffering, he knew that he had a loving father. Jesus knows that the sinner's salvation lies in the forgiveness of God. Until the very end, he loved and forgave. If Jesus can forgive, you and I can forgive. I am Wendy Aline of St. Albans Church in St. James. I am Gail Aline of the Church of Christ the King in Rockdundo, St. Michael. Join us tomorrow morning at 7.25 for another Anglican Lenten devotion.